I don't want to go back alone. Very worthy winner of the Iris Prize this year, I think. A uh, really simple story, but actually giving us a little bit of insight into something which we don't necessarily see in in, uh, in certainly LGBT short films, which was, uh, you know, the central character is blind. Um, and so I think that we, we have the, the world from his perspective to a certain extent. Um, and just a really sweet story with a kind of uplifting ending, which in itself is very short, uh, you know, is very uh, unusual. I think it's it's sometimes easier in short films to focus on the bleak and the despairing because that's an easy emotion to go for to go for something that uplifting without it being schmaltzy is is a lot harder um but this certainly delivered e aí já tá conseguindo se achar na escola na biblioteca eu já encontrei vocês foram bem na prova ah acho que sim quem não foi bem foi a Karina né aquela lá é toda voada não presta atenção em nada e você foi bem ah, acho que sim, mas eu sempre gostei de matemática, então... Ah, você podia ensinar o Léo, ele vai muito mal em matemática. É, eu queria ver se você tivesse que resolver equação em braille se ia gostar. Hum, nervosildo. Ah, essa prova vale pouco mesmo. Ah, se você quiser eu posso te ajudar na próxima. Ah, você devia aceitar, Léo. Em duas semanas tem prova e você não vai repetir por causa de Bhaskara, né? Hum, Bhaskara, né? <risos> The red bike really benefits from um, being watched once, you know, two or three times, I think, because it's quite a mysterious, non-linear story, and it opens out a little bit like a dream. So when you watch it the first time, you're not really sure what's going on or in which direction it's going. Second time, you can kind of start making sense of it, so it works a little bit like a puzzle, I think. There's lots of images that you, you you're uncertain of, that, but become clear on your second viewing. Um, so really interesting film, nice central performance, and uh, just beautifully shot as well. August was a great feature film, uh, very, very subtle performances um, and, and just kind of very intelligent look at at the, the kind of uh, emotional ramifications of the ex-boyfriend coming back into a situation, um, but never tipping over into melodrama. I think all of the main three actors uh, did, a, did a wonderful job in that, uh, particularly Murray Bartlett, who, you know, there's no kind of showboating, there's no scenery chewing. Um, like I said, it never gets melodramatic. It's all just very subtle and very understated. And there's lo lots of moments that are just glances and, and t slight ticks and slight uh, mannerisms that, that kind of tell the story. So yeah, really impressive feature film. It's a really fantastic honor uh, for all of us that worked on the film. And um, I know that Eldar's gonna be absolutely thrilled. I know that he wanted to be here, but um, yeah, it's amazing. We, we had a, a great time working on the film. Uh, it was a really lovely group of people and Eldar was fantastic to work with and um, you know so y you don't think about these kinds of things well I, I don't <laughs> I don't think Eldar does uh, much either while you're shooting you're just sort of doing the thing so it's I mean it's lovely to you know find that people respond to the film and yeah. um, and you know especially when both of us you know Eldar has uh, been at Iris a couple of times and now this is my first time being here um, and loving it so much and Elda has always raved about the festival and the people here so it's especially lovely to you know get a positive response from a group of uh, people in a festival that you uh, that you really like and, and, and admire so yeah. it's a good, great feeling. I hope to work with her again if she will, if she will, uh, you know, I, I, we had a great working relationship. She actually also had a, a small role in my film, A Four Letter Word, and that's when I kind of discovered her. And uh, I, uh, I kept her in mind for this role. I actually wrote the, the, the film with, with her in mind to play Candy. Um, and, um, and when she read it, she was like, absolutely, I can't wait to do it. So, so she's, uh, I hope we get a chance to work again. So, Marie, how does it feel not only to win Best Actress 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> Damn, sorry. That was why it he said it. feels fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Start again. <laughs>